Greetings guys and gals and fellow gamers, this is Games for Kicks and thank you for joining me in another episode of 7 Days to Die. In the last episode we did our uh, loot run, which probably wasn't too exciting, but um, I, I, I think a few people actually have never seen either factories like that, or... Um, have seen them but never come across them but have seen them in the in the i believe in the naviscan uh, naviscan i don't know how you pronounce it naviscan naviscan uh, map the the standalone map not the random generated map now what i want to do a couple of things in this episode because i have plans um first of all i hope that the light that comes through the water works if not um luckily uh, i found another couple of beans in the last episode and uh, coffee beans corn golden rod and what I what I'm planning on doing is I want to build um, a, a quite a high raised walkway or plateau or whatever you want to call it, yeah. And that connects different platforms, and each platform can have a different purpose. With this being the centerpiece, yeah. So we're gonna go out here, build a platform here, then maybe do one here, then here, then here, then here, and they all will go out the same way. And then we're gonna go diagonally and across. And again, I know Alpha 11 is probably going to hit any day or any week, but you know what? We're just going to have to continue. We're going to make our plans. And you know what? No matter when we get interrupted, when Alpha 11 comes out, the first thing we're going to do is have some fun, of course, trying out all the new features, getting together a couple of guides for you guys, you know, like so we can uh, figure things out together, you know. And um, then we're going to start doing these builds again. So, you know, it's all good fun. I mean, if you enjoy Seven Days to Die and building as much as I do, then you couldn't care less if you have to restart it halfway through because you know it's always going to be an awesome feeling to start again. Now we need f several things. Uh, first of all, I made a lot of concrete which I don't need anymore because I want to actually use uh, uh, now make um, reinforced concrete for the for the pillars that I'm uh, having planned and I'm using wood because it's lighter uh, at the top okay for the walkways uh, because concrete might be a bit heavy Maybe I use concrete. I don't know. Anyway, um, so what I want to do for the moment is I can actually make reinforced concrete with my custom recipes out of five concrete, concrete and four um, pipes, but I'm going to leave the concrete first alone in case I want to actually use it. But I also, also want to use um, the concrete mix. So let's put this back for now. And let's make a bit more concrete mix that's for later there we go nice let's put that back and what i want to do is i want to i i need a mine okay i need a fresh source of iron so what i want to do and i converted i had 15 left of those yeah 15 and 30 i got from the barrels that I picked up okay so if you look at the barrels barrels oil barrel yeah six one two three four five six there you go There you go. So that's the five barrels I had, just so you see what uh, happened with them. I turned them into gas cans. Okay, so without further ado, let's get going because what I want to do is I want to connect my little base that I had here with this because this is going to be my mining entrance. Now, I want to not do that so close to the surface. So what I want to do is I want to make a door here. There we go. And what I want to do is I want to make some stairs. Ah, look at that, can make concrete stairs. Excellent, you know what, I'm gonna use the concrete for that. That is an awesome idea. Well, we gotta try new things out, why not? So, there we go.
And I want to make some TNT as well. So what I'm going to do is, before I connect these... And it's going to go quite far down. Um, I might have taken a little bit too much off here. There we go. Yeah, that was a bit much. We have to put a little bit of stone back in there. Yeah. Okay, so what this is, this is gonna go down. Um, I would not bedrock, absolutely not. Only a little bit down. Um, maybe, I don't know, 10 or so. Why am I stuck now? Okay. Um, maybe 10 or so um, blocks. So maybe another four sta stairs, and then I'm gonna go straight across. Now for the moment, I will leave that as the idea it is, and I will go across. Oh, hello. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a bit weird. It's it's There's nothing behind me now. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Okay, I have my little flag there. And we're gonna start mining there. Now, first of all, what I want to do is I want to get rid of all these blocks here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to possibly empty out this. Yeah, great, I have enough space. And now what I want to do is I want to basically cover this up again, um, possibly with wood frames, but cover it up nonetheless. And um, I also want to... Okay, I'm safe. Yeah, I just yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So we just want to even this out a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna get rid of these spikes. I should have brought my... Did I not bring it? Oh yeah, of course I did. Thank you. There we go, that was much better. Now... That probably got the attention of some zombies, but we deal with them as we get here. So... What we have here is... We're gonna cover this up. We're gonna raise all these. Okay, we have a nosy nurse. Do you have any pills? No? Okay. Now... I just want to make sure that um, all this is done right and straightened up. You can see how the earth starts shaping every time we place one of those. And that's good, because that's what we want. We want everything to be nice and smooth so no zombie gets any ideas of... Uh, yeah, that's good. Let's get rid of that as well. Good for these things to happen now rather than later. Okay, and wonderful. They always try to interrupt. Oh, that was so awesome, Ninja. I love this when you do it. You switch weapon, ba bam, and then straight away into the face, and it just works out. <laughs> It's just awesome. 
okay what we're gonna do is whoops I didn't mean to fall down actually so I'm gonna close this actually off because I don't I know they're gonna they can fall down there again but um, I want yeah okay that's not good um, let me there we go and we're gonna build um, we're gonna upgrade those I'm gonna put a ladder there. Oh, I don't know why I make so many sticks. Okay, we're gonna cover all this up nicely. So I just want to make sure we get out of, out of here. Nice. And we're gonna put a, a hatch on top of that. This keeps all falling down. That is not good. Yeah, we probably have to fill all that up again. Okay, just let me fix this and I'm back in a second. So, we had some spider zombies coming in as we were doing some work. I'll show you what I've done. They literally only just showed up. I could hear them, so I went upstairs to see what's going on. And here we go. So we've been busy. We converted this mine into something more useful. So if you look at here now, hello. There we go. This is where I will put my TNT. I have some mm, potassium nitrate now and some coal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this coal into actual coal and my potassium nitrate and potassium nitrate. And then, oh, look at that. We have exactly 70, 70. And then we do this. And now we can make gunpowder charges. Now, come on. 77. And we should make a f we should be able to make a few sticks of TNT. Um, Oh yeah, we need grass for that. Luckily we're outside. There we go. So let's get some grass. Okay. You see, this is pretty even now, so they shouldn't really be able to dig in. Now they might dig in by accident, but hopefully not. Okay, so this should be nice and flat, and they shouldn't really give a shit about it. So, of course, unless they can hear me making tons of noise, then, of course, they're gonna care. Okay, so let's get a few grass. There we go. Clearing out the area nicely. Yeah, that should be enough for now. I don't even think we can make 17. Oh, we don't have enough paper. Let's make more paper. And we should be able to make two. Oh, it's three TNT. Well, you know what? That is a good start. That is a good start. And we have more paper at the base. Actually, we can make more paper here. I'm a bit of a moron. Because, look at this. I can just take this and put it here in the top left and make more paper there we go nice let's make a few more uh, oh whoops let's just make oh, we can make another stack There we go. Okay, so now I have no more charges left. Now this is gonna help us. It's pretty you can't turn that back in the wood. <laughs> now this should help us in um Yeah, that's closed. Towards mining towards our base. That is approximately the depth I wanted to go. 
I think that might be enough. That is uh, approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, let's make it a little bit deeper. Just maybe three more. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now, seeing that that will be our base here, it's gonna be that is gonna be our ground. So we want to get a few. We want to get two up. go okay so now this is our ground and we want to go one let me see one this is in the way now isn't it yeah okay one. yeah that's ground one Two. Okay, I think that's right. Oh, I'm gonna have to get seriously close. Excellent. Now, this is definitely gonna attract some passengers. Um, let me see. Um, did it make the ground a bit deeper? No, it left it exactly the way I wanted it. Exactly. That is very nice. So, it, it seems to be if you go two up. So ground, one, two, that it never goes deeper than what you currently have. You see, I originally when I did this bedrock, I thought it was because of the bedrock. Um, but it seems to be only going two down, which is great. So let's put some lights up. Here. So we have uh, plenty to look at. Okay, so we go again. One, two. One, two. One, two. There we go. So that should hopefully be deep enough to, um, Yeah, we, we should be down deep enough. And we're just going to basically make our way over here. And eventually I will just drill. Now, this has to be calculated because I don't know exactly how level I am with where I'm going. So when I get to a certain point here, I'm going to have to kind of trial and error. <laughs> okay. So hang on a second. Okay, so I just had to check something. So one, two... I just had to check the time because I forgot to set my alarm clock the second time around. So we just keep picking up everything and it will one, one, two. One, two. And where are we now on the map? We're getting close to the water's edge, so we are actually progressing quite fast. I mean, this was only 11 blocks of TNT. And you can see this has done an amazing job already in digging down here. I mean, amazing. One, two. Oh, we're full. Okay, that is... Uh, well, we can throw away one paper, I suppose. Hey. Oh, silly paper. 
There we go. Because that stone is important. We need to make cement with that. So... One... Two. There we go. Now, I don't know if I want to go much further for now. Because I want to come from this side as well. So what I might do is... Um, I like the way TNT shapes this. It's on friggin' believable. It looks so nice. I mean, it does, really. I mean, if you think about it, it does really make a nice shape. It's something very satisfying about it. So I'm gonna use the TNT from the other side that I've left. I'm also gonna um, have to find a way of actually mining for more potassium and... Um, yeah, that's looking nice, yeah. I'm gonna shape this just the right way. And um, we're going to go back up. And our main mine up there is gonna be where we go for basically the ore, you know, the TNT, sorry, the, the potassium and um, the coal. Just gonna do some rough edges, smoothing out. It's always nice to finish things off with your hand and not just always machines. It's always nice. There you go. Looking nice. Oh, this is a bit weirdly cut here. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so this looks all nice and even and beautiful. And we're gonna... It is rather dark when you have the lamp off. Whoa! It is actually very dark. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we see where we're going with this. Um, I should definitely be deep enough underwater to not hit the water. But we'll see. So let's get back up here. Let's get back out. Let's go outside and let's go back to the base. Because it is nearly 9 o'clock. Is there anything we want to bring with us? Um, no. I don't... Yeah, that would be 15. We'll bring one of those with us. And I can start mining really anyway. I mean, I can even do from here a path into the side wall. And then start mining for ore or something like that. And uh, we'll see. We can do that. Now, for now, I want to get back to the base. I want to get all these guys, these critters killed. Because I don't know what they're hitting, actually. Oh, there they are. There you go. <laughs> they were like, oh, what is going on? We can hear noises, but we just can't see where it's coming from. It's so weird. It's like, yes, because I'm hiding. That's why it's so weird. It's actually funny how you can see right through here. That is really, really funny. So, I probably should cover this all with dirt. That would be pretty awesome. To have dirt on me? No. Okay, I'll do that another day. Alright, so we're gonna go back to base. And um, we're gonna connect the two, because I need to obviously mine as well. And I'm not gonna do the connection anymore on camera, because in the next episode I want to um, start um, building out... I want to make the pillars. But of course I needed a little bit more stone because I need to make, uh, uh, in the start of the next episode, what I will do off camera, I will go and get more cinder blocks to make some more gravel and then we're going to get loads and loads of... Um, can spider zombies actually crawl up here? I think they can, yeah, that's actually not good. Hmm, interesting. Well, if they get in, they get in, we deal with them. Ha ha ha. No, these are not growing. So there, there goes my theory from having a farm underground. So it seems that the sunlight gets blocked by the water. Which is probably what a lot of people would have said, well, duh, you know, and it's like, well, duh, I didn't know. A 
I'm going to have to go out forward as well. So I'm going to do that off camera in preparation for the next episode. And um, I will go down here. See, I don't know how deep that was, actually. That is the thing. I have no idea how deep that was. But yeah, I'm going to connect the two. And that's basically going to be my mineshaft then, where I'm going to connect the two entry points. So I always have a little getaway. In, if, in case anything happens here, I can just go, fine, fair enough, arrivederci, see you later, bye-bye. And I'm gonna go here, and um, that's it. Excellent. Oh. Okay, until next time, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, a lot of these episodes will be preparation for things and building things, and um, I hope you don't find it too boring, but leave me in the comments your, your ideas and your suggestions, okay? I mean, I'm gonna record always a couple of episodes ahead, so if I don't respond to them immediately, please don't get upset, you know? Uh, I've seen a few comments where they said, dude, I told you last time, and it's like, yeah, I know, so I'm not ignoring you, Can I promise you, I will always reply to your comments and um, will acknowledge them, and... Um, also try to incorporate a lot of your ideas lovely jubbly and another one this venice this venetian stew is venison stew this venetian stew is uh, quite nice okay if you enjoyed that episode strike that like button uh, like bottom do you like my bottom oh shake shake that booty baby <laughs> okay strike that like button like the gaming ninjas you are thank you very much for watching as always feel spaß and happy gaming Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, this is Games for Kicks and thank you for joining me in another episode of 7 Days to Die. In the last episode we did our uh, loot run, which probably wasn't too exciting, but um, I, I, I think a few people actually have never seen either factories like that, or um, have seen them but never come across them, but have seen them in the, in the I believe in the Navisgan, uh, Navisgain? I don't know how you pronounce it, Naviskin, Naviskin uh, map, the, the standalone map, not the random generated map. Now, what I want to do a couple of things in this episode, because I have plans. Um, first of all, I hope that the light that comes through the water works. If not, um, luckily, uh, I found another couple of beans in the last episode, and uh, coffee beans, corn, golden rod. And what, I, what I'm planning on doing is I want to build um, a, a, quite a high raised walkway or plateau or whatever you want to call it yeah and that connects different platforms and each platform can have a different purpose with this being the centerpiece yeah so we're gonna go out here build a platform here then maybe do one here then here then here then here and they all will go out the same way and then we're gonna go diagonally and across and again, I know Alpha 11 is probably going to hit any day or any week, but you know what? We're just going to have to continue. We're going to make our plans. And you know what? No matter when we get interrupted, when Alpha 11 comes out, the first thing we're going to do is have some fun, of course, trying out all the new features, getting together a couple of guides for you guys, you know, like so we can uh, figure things out together, you know. And um, then we're going to start doing these builds again. So, you know, it's all good fun. I mean, if you enjoy Seven Days to Die and building as much as I do, then you couldn't care less if you have to restart it halfway through because you know it's always going to be an awesome feeling to start again now we need f several things uh, first of all i made a lot of concrete which i don't need anymore because i want to actually use uh, uh, now make um reinforced concrete for the for the pillars that i'm uh, having planned and i'm using wood because it's lighter uh, at the top okay for the walkways uh, because concrete might be a bit heavy Maybe I use concrete. I don't know. Anyway, um, so what I want to do for the moment is I can actually make reinforced concrete with my custom recipes out of five concrete, concrete and four um, pipes, but I'm going to leave the concrete first alone in case I want to actually use it. But I also, also want to use um, the concrete mix. So let's put this back for now. And let's make a bit more concrete mix that's for later there we go nice let's put that back and what i want to do is i want to i i need a mine okay i need a fresh source of iron so what i want to do and i converted i had 15 left of those yeah 15 and 30 i got from the barrels that I picked up okay so if you look at the barrels 
barrels, oil barrel. Yeah, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. There you go. So that's the five barrels I had. Just so you see what uh, happened with them, I turned them into gas cans. Okay, so without further ado, let's get going because what I want to do is I want to connect my little base that I had here with this because this is going to be my mining entrance. Now, I want to not do that so close to the surface. So what I want to do is I want to make a door here. There we go. And what I want to do is I want to make some stairs. Ah, look at that. Can I make concrete stairs? Actually, do you know what? I'm going to use the concrete for that. That is an awesome idea. Well, we got to try new things out. Why not? So... There we go. And I want to make some TNT as well. So what I'm going to do is, before I connect these, and it's going to go quite far down. Um, might have taken a little bit too much off here. There we go. Yeah, that was a bit much. We have to put a little bit of stone back in there. Yeah. Okay, so what this is, this is going to go down. Um, I would Not bedrock, absolutely not. Only a little bit down. Um, maybe, I don't know, 10 or so. Why am I stuck now? Okay. Uh, maybe 10 or so um, blocks. So maybe another four sta stairs. And then I'm going to go straight across. Now for the moment, I will leave that as the idea it is. And I will go across. Oh, hello. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a bit weird. It's it's There's nothing behind me now. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Okay, I have my little flag there, and we're gonna start mining there. Now, first of all, what I want to do is I want to get rid of all these blocks here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to possibly empty out this. Yeah, great, I have enough space. And now what I want to do is I want to basically cover this up again, um, possibly with wood frames, but cover it up nonetheless. And um, I also want to Okay, I'm safe. Yeah, I just yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So we just want to even this out a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna get rid of these spikes. I 
should have brought my... Did I not bring it? Oh yeah, of course I did. Thank you. There we go, that was much better. Now... That probably got the attention of some zombies, but we deal with them as we get here. So... What we have here is... We're gonna cover this up. We're gonna raise all these. Okay, we have a nosy nurse. Do you have any pills? No? Okay. Now, I just want to make sure that um, all this is done right and straightened up. You can see how the earth starts shaping every time we place one of those. And that's good, because that's what we want. We want everything to be nice and smooth so no zombie gets any ideas of... Uh, yeah, that's good. Let's get rid of that as well. It's good for these things to happen now rather than later. Okay, and wonderful. They always try to interrupt. Oh, that was so awesome, Ninja. I love this when you do it. You switch weapon, ba bam, and then straight away into the face, and it just works out. <laughs> it's just awesome. Okay, what we're gonna do is. Whoops, I didn't mean to fall down actually. So I'm gonna close this actually off because I don't. I know they're gonna. They can fall down there again, but um, I want. Yeah. Okay, that's not good. Um, let me. There we go. And we're gonna build, um, we're gonna upgrade those. I'm gonna put a ladder there. Oh, I don't know why I make so many sticks. Okay, and we're gonna cover all this up nicely. So I just want to make sure we get out of, out of here. Nice. And we're gonna put a, a hatch on top of that. This keeps all falling down. That is not good. Yeah, we probably have to fill all that up again. Okay, just let me fix this and I'm back in a second. So, we had some spider zombies coming in as we were doing some work. I'll show you what I've done. They literally only just showed up. I could hear them, so I went upstairs to see what's going on. And here we go. So we've been busy. We converted this mine into something more useful. So if you look at here now, hello. There we go. This is where I will put my TNT. I have some mm, potassium nitrate now and some coal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this coal into actual coal and my potassium nitrate and potassium nitrate. And then, oh, look at that. We have exactly 70, 70. And then we do this. And now we can make gun 